was that many months pregnant. I can't get through this, Danny. Is she Oscar bound? He took that away from that family. And how this young man went from this. We should all be as beautiful as we were meant to be into this. If there's a plastic surgery out there that you can do, I've had it done. Plus, it's such an exciting. Before the break, we tested your EQ. Bare Naked Ladies appear as themselves as fans of which rock group in an upcoming documentary? The answer, Duran Duran. Toronto's Pride Week celebrates diversity of all genders in our communities. Now tonight, the harrowing journey of a TV personality, Nina Arsenault, a woman desperate to reconstruct herself at any cost. And we warn you, her story is graphic, but compelling. At first glance, she looks voluptuous and sexy, but Nina Arsenault wasn't always this way. I never did typical little boy things when I was growing up. Uh, I played with Barbie dolls. Nina was once a Rodney, leaving a successful career as a university instructor. The young man set out on a quest to transform himself into the woman she is today. If there's a plastic surgery out there that you can do, I've had it done. I've probably had it done more than once. In total, Nina endured over 60 plastic surgeries, countless hormone injections, and painful recovery. Some of the more exotic surgeries that I had is I had um, my lower ribs uh, broken and pushed inwards. I had silicone injections in my lips and my cheeks, um, in my hips and my butt. Um, I had my nose done like five times. I had my eyebrows lifted, my ears done. I had my Adam's apple shaved. I had my forehead shaved a few times and my jaw shaved. I've had my breasts done twice. Starting out as a sex trade worker to pay for the procedures, Nina eventually used her skill to make a name for herself as an author, columnist, and TV personality. It's the reason Pride Toronto is awarding her as an unstoppable figure in the gay community. We should all be as beautiful as we were meant to be. We should all be as sexy as we want to be, as glamorous as we want to be, and as flamboyant as we need to be. And her parents, they couldn't be proud of her. All we ever wanted for Nina to be happy, and if this is what she wants, and she's got it, that makes us happy if she's happy. So how does it feel these days for this little boy who's grown into this beautiful woman? I'm so happy. I'm dancing in the street. Alicia Cuthbert's new horror film, Captivity, caused a huge uproar in Hollywood over its graphic...